Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Steve White with the Fisher's Fire Department. In this scenario, we're going to show how to lift a heavy load off of the vehicle without the use of a heavy wrecker. We're going to use hydraulic lifting struts to accomplish this objective. On the back side, we want to throw two structural struts that have threads that can adjust for raising and lowering. We're going to contact the frame on the high side down to the base at the bottom. We want to make sure that we strap the bottom of the strut back to the vehicle itself. Take up slack so they're tight. And this will happen for both struts on the back side of the truck. We want to make sure that we stabilize the car. Now that we have the car stabilized, we're going to put the Homatro lifting struts in place. These are hydraulically operated with a hand pump. They're also backed up by a threaded locking collar. We're going to secure the top of the struts to prevent them from slipping out during the lifting operation, as well as securing the bottom of the struts so that they do not kick out during the lifting operation. When you have loose chain, wedges are typically used to take up space. Once both struts are in place, we will begin the lifting operation and we will also thread up the collars to maintain our safety factor. Keep in mind that we also have struts manned on the back side to control the vehicle. It's important to put safety officers at various sides of the vehicle to monitor the lift at all times. During this operation, the struts on the back side are a safety in the event that the load shifts. Now we've completed the lifting operation and the struts are safely backed up with the threads. Because we weren't able to compress the vehicle with a ratchet strap, which is typically done from front rim to front rim with a ratchet strap, we weren't able to keep the vehicle compressed. We were not able to do that because we did not have access on the driver's side wheel. That caused the vehicle to raise, so we've adjusted our lower cribbing underneath the car. Now that it is safe, We've gained enough room that we can perform extrication, disentanglement, and get the victim out. I'm Steve White. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes, and thank you for Homatro for sponsoring this segment.